Hi all, Jake Templeton here, Paralympic swimmer. This week a lot of people have asked for some fixes and cues for some common problems when swimming freestyle. The first thing that I can think of is people bend too much at their knees when they kick. This is quite often to feel stronger, uh, but in fact we want to keep our knees relatively straight and point our toes. Uh, it actually reduces the resistance and drag by doing so. The second thing that I can think of is overreaching, which is when you reach past the midline of your body, which in turn causes us to pull too far under our body. We can do some drills such as sculling, which makes us realise and helps us to realise where our hands are in relation to our body, and a cue can be shoot arms straight. The next thing that I can think of that people often struggle with is snaking in the water. And snaking is when we literally move like a snake in the water and go side to side, which negates our forward movements. For example, when people overreach, uh, that causes their hips to move out of alignment, which ultimately does slow down um, the propulsion that we have. And rotation drills, such as a single arm kicking uh, drill, where you've got your one arm out in front and you're kicking to the side, just practicing that breathing to the side, because if we breathe too far forwards or backwards, that does throw our hips out of alignment as well. So we want to try and rotate around a fixed axis uh, where we're rotating from side to side and trying to keep out the rest of our body uh, relatively still. So kicking with arms by side, just rotating, just like this drill here, it will be quite hard. You've got to keep the core and the hips on, but it will help that um, limiting that snaking in the water. Effectively catching and pulling the water is something most people quite often struggle with. So when we do our freestyle, we want to try and get over the top of our stroke rather than collapsing at the elbow. So we want to internally rotate and then use our prime movers, our major muscles, um, to pull through the rest of the stroke. If, if we drop at the elbow, we don't give ourselves any chance to push the water backwards the way we've which, uh, just come. And that's ultimately what's gonna give us that forward progression. So some sculling drills where we're just catching and trying to get that first initiation of the catch uh, will allow us to try and get over the stroke and limit that dropping of the elbow when we're swimming freestyle. Another thing people quite often struggle with is body position. So just doing some slow motion and some single arm drills can not, not only um, allow us to get that over the top of the stroke where we're limiting that elbow drop, but it will also allow us to get that body position in the water. And trying to maintain a flat body in the water is ultimately what we're trying to get here. Body position is one of the fundamental keys of swimming, and that's where we want to try and maintain a nice flat body and not have our uh, legs sinking too far because we've lifted our head, for example. So we want to try and keep everything in alignment as always, um, and then we can use all of these things together to allow us to swim effectively and move through the water as best we can.